Oh man, we're good. We're pretty good. Okay, here we go. What's up, guys? I'm back. Weston Wednesdays for another episode of your favorite shoe review. Coming from you live from my crib. <laughs> hey, uh, this week I'm doing a review on the King, the King of Ohio. That's why I'm rock rocking this shirt right here. Big Ohio State. Hey, congrats last night on the big win last night. But your boy, super excited. Boom. Reviewing the man, the myth, the legend, the king. King of the court right there, LeBron James, 15. Ash. Ah, Saucy. Love these things, man. First saw them, I was like, I know I need to get these right here. These things are bad boys right here, man. Premium shoe. Okay, this thing right here is legit. From top to bottom, solid. Love this kick. Excited, man. Excited about it. So, I'm going to give you some tips. So pros and cons, my opinion, it's gonna be good. First impression right here of the traction. Okay, this thing right here, a lot of diamond shaped themed going through the entire shoe, okay? And obviously it's at the bottom right there with the traction. Uh, I would actually even compare these to basically like training shoes. If you, you know, if you've ever worn training shoes for baseball or whatever, uh, artificial sh turf shoes for football training on, on low grass or artificial turf, they have nubs. Okay, on the bottom of the shoe for traction. Okay, on on slippier slip geez, okay, I can't get that one out. On slick surfaces. Okay, so it grabs a little bit more. That's kind of the uh, the the theme I get with these shoes right here. Okay, it's kind of it's not stereotypical for a basketball shoe, uh, but we'll see how it works on the court. Otherwise, obviously they have some breaks here in the shoe. Okay, these right here, it basically simulates the pads that touch the ground on the bottom of your foot right here. Okay, so. Uh, so it can transfer a little bit more uh, over the court. Obviously, there's a nice little animated King logo on the bottom of the shoe. I don't know if you can see that or not. Okay, it's pretty dope. Like it. Okay, and it's just symbolizing the man himself, the King, and his shoe. Okay, that's the traction first impression. Okay, we're going to be moving on to the actual cushions. <laughs> the transfer. <laughs> Next up, cushion. All right, this is second to none type of cushioning right here. All right, they've actually combined Air Max and Air Zoom in these 15s. Uh, it's pretty dope looking at the shoe uh, throughout. You can tell that they're extremely durable as far as the, the cushioning is concerned. Um, I would compare them almost to like the KD9s. I've tried those on, they're extremely comfortable. Like walking on a cloud, immediately you could feel the actual cushion of those shoes. This right here actually has the combination of two, like I said, the Zoom and the Mac. So I'm really excited to try these bad boys on. Uh, but I can tell right now that, you know, obviously they're going to be extremely comfortable. And like I was saying, because of the actual break in the sole, I think each pad or each unit of Air, Zoom, Max is going to distribute pretty good throughout the shoe as you move. Okay, so excited to check that out as well okay I think this is going to be one of the most comfortable shoes and that's what I've heard too but you can tell right off the bat before even putting them on that this shoe is going to be legit as far as uh, the cushion is concerned so that's that on that ankle support ankle support as you can tell the shoe is obviously it's a little high rise okay it's definitely a high top shoe uh, the thing with that though is up at top right here Normally on a basketball shoe or another shoe with you know some high support, uh, this shoe right here it's a battle knit. Okay, so it's basically a flexible knit uh, shoe. Okay, so the top right here uh, there's a lot of flexibility in it. All right, so I would almost consider this like it looks like a high top, but as far as support, uh, you're getting a lot of sufficient support um, throughout. So I would almost consider it like a mid, a mid top, um, but it's almost double knit and it's called battle knit and I'll get to that too but uh, it's very very sturdy as far as uh, like I was saying a mid shoe would be okay throughout this region here and then it also has actually like a heel counter like a cup right here for an extra uh, additional heel support on the bottom the back of the heel uh, but uh, just looking at it initially off the top with the, the laces and then actually these toe loops to help you know obviously slip it in which I'll touch on too as well uh, I can see it being, you know, decent ankle support. Like I said, I've had fly knit shoes before, 
which is a different material. This is battle knit, which is all it's like fly knit on steroids or whatever you want to call it. It's, it's it's the next step up version of fly knit. But I've had fly knit before. There's a lot of move movement and flexibility in the shoe with flex, uh, the fly knit, which is very very nice. There's no breaking uh, uh, process. It's it's immediately comfortable. Um, so I'm kind of excited to see how it feels as far as support because this is a basketball shoe moving on the court you want a little bit of extra support it may not provide that i don't know I, i'm excited like i said to see what the battle net's all about because it's a step up from the fly knit so um and looking at through the shoe uh there is definitely some reinforced double knit bad knit so i mean it, th this thing is i don't even know how to compare it i mean it's definitely beast mode as far as how uh, stitched up and, and intense that stuff is and like you can see you can see the definitely a diamond themed all the way throughout there's even the diamond theme on the actual hill, uh, hill counter right there if you can check that out a little bit but that's the actual support um, ankle support okay so that gives you an idea of the first impression there next up first compression it's a little bit to go in with obviously the ankle support because I touched on it but the actual you know the material battle knit it's a fly knit uh, improved. It's the next version, the battle knit. It's the proven uh, knitted basketball version for LeBron. But it looks like it's going to be extremely comfortable. Like I said, any fly knit that I've had, and this is supposed to be, uh, like I said, and I've constantly said it, a step up, it's going to be extremely comfortable. I can tell right now. Putting it on, there's not going to be a break-in process. It's going to be one thing you put in, it's like sock-like feel. Uh, there's going to be some movement, um, but it's going to be nice and snug in there. Uh, it's going to be great. I can tell you right now, not having to try it on yet, it's going to be very, very comfortable with the lacing system from toe to, to the top, as well as the actual slipping, uh, getting in the shoe. This thing is flexible enough to where it doesn't matter the size of your foot. You can actually slip that thing in there without... A problem. Uh, I don't know if you guys have ever had the KD9s. Those things are tough to get in uh, because of the small area right there, the ankle. This right here looks like that, but it actually it's very flexible and it stretches so you can get your foot in there. So with the leather toe <coughs> uh, loop as well as the heel loop, slip those things in very, very comfortably. And like I said, your foot is going to feel like it's in a nice sturdy sock and it's going to be extremely comfortable. So lacing laces are going to be they're obviously pretty sturdy uh nothing base i mean nothing you know spectacular about them pretty basic but it goes along with the whole theme that battle knit style theme uh, last but not least and i wanted to finish with it is just the shoe material and actually the style of the shoe uh that's the reason why i decided on getting these i i actually haven't owned a pair of lebrons before um and the reason why is when I actually look at the shoe, this shoe is obviously it's a bulky shoe for, you know, for a reason. He's a big guy, so when they're custom made to fit his style, he's a big dude, you know. So uh, I can see them being bulky, but for other guys, you know, normal people like, you know, I'm 6'3", but just a normal person, the shoe can be pretty bulky. So in shoes past, looking at his shoes, they've always been big, bulky to me. They looked heavy. Uh... So I really didn't want to go that route on the court, but obviously seeing these right here, knowing that they were battle knit, I knew they'd be a little bit more lightweight. Um, so, and the, the overall style of the shoe is just uh, nice. I, I, I love the way it looks. I knew right off the bat when I saw them, I wanted them because I liked them so much. Uh, so, you know, obviously the, the ash, first of all, there's a, you know, a little fire emoji up in there okay and then um the toe loop with the number six okay obviously it has his signature lebron james with his number there and then his signature on the back of the toe loop right here okay so it gives you some ideas of the style the ash with the it's basically black and white interlaced throughout the bat, uh, battle knit shoe top okay so it gives you that oreo style look i guess you want to call it but i mean it simulates ashes uh, you know, from a fire. I mean, it's dead on. It's pretty dope. Okay, and then it has the the sole right here is white uh, with black speckles along through the Nike sign as well. Okay, and I've talked about the diamond theme. It kind of runs throughout. Uh, it's scales or, I mean, dragon scales or diamonds. I don't know what you want to call it when you look at it, but it's throughout. I mean, it's from top to bottom and then it transfers right into the actual bottom of the shoe. Okay, so that's pretty dope. 
just the overall look of the entire shoe is clean in my opinion. Um, these things are dope. Okay, dope. Dope. Okay. Uh, I just love them, man. I, I, I think they're top notch. Obviously, they're a premium shoe. Uh, it's something that only a king would rock, in my opinion. And that dude's the king. Okay, so you get what you pay for. These things are legit. So, next up, man, I'm going to give you a little bit of a. Some videos and stuff of me on the court wearing them a little bit and then give you the pros and cons after my first impression. But like I said, right now, before trying them on and running around the court, these things, man, they look sick. I can't wait to try them on and move around these bad boys. So check it out. Check me out. Be right back. Hey, hey, get out of the way. Hey. Uh, yes. So after wearing them, uh, I was actually pleasantly surprised with some of the things that I originally thought before wearing them uh, was going to be an issue. So first off, traction. Um, remember initially my first impression, I've worn them a couple times, but after uh, my first impression, I thought they were going to be a little bit of an issue because they were like training shoes, they're nubs, pointed, a lot of little points at the bottom. Actually, after wearing them, I was pleasantly surprised on the traction. Um, I wasn't slipping or anything like that in the court that I was actually on. Uh, as you can see, it wasn't a great court, it's average, you know, as far as, uh, you know, if it's dusty and uh, the grip, you're not gonna get the court sound, squeaky sound that you would normally get with some other shoes, uh, but I felt comfortable on them. Um, I didn't think I was going to slip or anything like that. And I think uh, as you wear them more, they'll wear down a little bit. And I think, in my opinion, I feel like they would even get better, the, the grip. Um, so the traction, like I said, uh, I wouldn't grade it out the best uh, I've ever worn. But it's definitely not the worst. Um, and I would say it's above average traction. So and like I said... If it becomes an issue, you can even wipe over the bottom of the shoe to get a little bit of the dirt off to improve grip. And I did that one time just to kind of see if it would make a difference. I felt a little bit of a difference, but it wasn't drastic. Um, so, yeah, traction, I would give it a plus. Um, I was comfortable with it. Um, so, yeah, traction, thumbs up. A cushion, onto the cushion, the sole, Air Max, Air Zoom. Um, Initially, first impression, uh, reading up on it and kind of doing my research, I knew it was going to be pretty good and pretty comfortable, and I wasn't uh, surprised on the comfort. I, I felt like it was very comfortable on the court, and um, yeah, I mean, I definitely had a good cushion, a good ride moving around on the court. Some other shoes I've had, I feel like it would compare, you know, the KD9s, but uh, these were very comfortable, so... I liked them very much and it was immediate feel once I got on the court. There was no break in. It was definitely uh, comfortable on the bottom of my feet. Ankle support, ankle support. After the first impression with the soft light feel of the battle knit, uh, it was definitely flexible. My foot fit right in. Um, there was a little bit of movement like I was talking about on the first impression. It feels like, it looks like a high top, but it, you know, I could feel it, I felt like I had a little bit more support lower, and I noticed that too on the court when I was making moves, uh, you know, lateral movement, there was, a, there was some movement in my foot in the shoe, okay, so if you're a type of guy that likes it nailed down and stability nice and snug and tight, this might not be the shoe uh, for you, but for me, I'm okay with that, I don't like the shoe extremely tight on my foot, I like a, a decent amount of support, but 
This right there, this shoe actually has an, enough support for me, and I actually uh, approved the feel and the, the support of it. So definitely around the heel, and then the, the laces, and I didn't tie my shoes up very tight, but I could, you know, I could see if you wanted more support, you could lace them up a lot tighter, and it would be perfectly okay. Um, if you do have ankle problems or anything like that, I mean, I guess you could wear ankle brace, but uh, these things on point, in my opinion. Comfortable, good support, plus. Next up, fit. The fit, comfort, lacing, like I touched on a little bit too, great. Uh, there was no break-in period like other shoes. You put in your foot and there might be a, a couple weeks before you, you, know, you feel comfortable in them to where you're moving around the court you know, without getting blisters or anything like that. These, like I said, with the battle knit, I knew initially before putting them on that that was not going to be an issue and it wasn't it wasn't an issue at all felt like my shoe or my sorry my foot has been in the shoe for weeks um, so no initial break-in period or nothing like that which is a huge advantage you can buy these things and rock them play them on the court immediately after buying them which is very very nice you don't need to practice them or anything if you you know if you want to practice you can too but like I said no break-in period, extremely comfortable. The fit was on point too. Price point and size for the LeBron 15. The size for me uh, was true to size. Uh, fit like a glove. Um, obviously, if you want them a little bit snug, you know, you could probably go half size down because of the movement with the battle knit and the, uh, the knit, knitting shoe throughout, there is some movement, so uh, if you do want to wear two socks and have a little bit more snug fit because of the laces, you can tighten them up a little bit more, you could do that and go that route, but true to size, uh, definitely comfortable. Price point, they're $185, so uh, that's, a, that's pretty expensive, but like I said, you get what you pay for. Um, not only are they the king's shoes, who in my opinion is the best basketball player in the game right now. Um, so you're going to pay for a little bit of that because they're his. Uh, he rocks them. But they're a premium shoe. I mean, from top to bottom with traction, sole, cushion, fit. Uh, these things are solid, A+. Uh, so, I mean, if that's something that you're looking for and you're willing to pay for a, a good basketball shoe, uh, then 185 is, you know, it's worth it. Um, definitely, definitely, definitely recommend these shoes. Uh, definitely for bigger players. I mean, taller, uh, bigger style, you know, bangers, I guess you want to call them on the court. Um, if you're a guard or something like that with a little bit of uh, lower center of gravity, I don't know, because, you know, maybe your style of game is with lateral movement and if you're really a guy that likes a lot of ankle support that would be the only uh, negative in my opinion um, is I felt like they're almost like low top mid top style uh, even though they look extremely high uh, because of the actual battle knit but other than that these things are solid and if I gave them a rating, it would definitely be four and a half out of five stars. Uh, and just because, like I said, it would have been less. Initially, I thought the traction was going to be a, an issue, but it wasn't. I was completely okay with the traction. So the only thing I could even knock it off a little bit is just the ankle support on a high ankle support. That's it. That's all. Premium. Premium. This thing is premium. And I don't normally do this, but when I do, I shoe review.